This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by nhliberty.org. So please welcome Gardner Goldsmith. You can buy his book on Amazon.com. <laughs> I take that back. Amazon.freetalklive.com. Very good. Uh, thank you very much, Chris. Terrific time. Boy, what a great time. I thought last year was fantastic. This year has topped it. So many great people that I've gotten to know just over the intervening year. As, as Chris said, my name is Gardner Goldsmith, and uh, you might be familiar with me from the Liberty Conspiracy website or Free Talk Live, where Ian and Mark are gracious enough to let me sit in with them on Mondays when I can make it over to Keene. And uh, thank you very much to those guys. And yes, Amazon.freetalklive.com. Realize that ours is a tradition of individual liberty. That's individual liberty. <laughs> Ridley reports. Um. <laughs> and I gotta say, there, there is a lineage of philosophers, political philosophers and economists who articulated things and we stand upon their shoulders. And, you know, sometimes it almost gets me choked up to think about some of the things that they went through and some of the things they passed on to us. Some of these ideas we spontaneously came up with ourselves, but others were passed on to us. People like John Locke. Well, people like Aristotle. I mean, Aristotle was the first one to talk about the right to self-defense. Aristotle, heck of a lot better than Socrates and Plato, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Just see the watchman, you'll know what I mean. Um, and he didn't need any parable of the cave to express it. Uh, John Locke, Frederick Bastia, uh, Thomas Paine, Adam Smith, Lysander Spooner, Carl Menger, Ludwig von Mises, F.A. Hayek, Albert J. Nock, Ayn Rand, Henry Hazlitt, Murray Rothbard, so many more went through their times of troubles trying to raise families, begin families, do their businesses. Who knows what was going on in their lives? Frederick Bastian, at the last five years of his life, boom, he produced some of the most brilliant things ever in the history of man before he died from tuberculosis. And to think about the, the way those people, people sacrificed really energized me. And so, Thanks to the work of Jeremy Ferb Furbish, who is a Free State member. Some of you might know Ferb. Ferb! Ferb. Hello, Ferb! Uh, this tradition of, of highlighting and concentrating attention on pro-freedom thinking, as articulated in books, has been turned into the Freedom Book Club, freedombookclub.com. And Ferb approached me, and he said, Gard, he knew me, and he used to listen, he used to, listen to me on my radio program. The Freedom Book Club, it's a website where libertarians can go and visit and each month vote on a book that they would like to see promoted in the mainstream. To see the concentrated buying power of libertarian people who will consistently try to make an effort to go there. Maybe they won't buy it every month, but they'll try to pick up the book that's voted on. It's a tacit agreement that, you know what, you vote, give it a shot and it concentrates buying power on that book, the way Ron Paul's book bomb was so successful. And of course, Ron Paul was very successful as well in the way that he put that book together. Is it safe to assume that uh, you won't be corresponding with Homeland Security again? That's Dave Minson from the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance, meeting with New Hampshire's governor, fighting Real ID. He's just one of many hundreds who've joined the feisty alliance and are making their mark on state government. Don't let these folks have all the fun. Do what I did. Join the alliance and help us keep the state house in check. NHLiberty.org